Now, U.S. President Joe Biden has arrived in Italy uh, to attend the G7 summit, which is in addition to leaders of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom. It's also going to be attended by Prime Minister Modi as a special invitee. India has been invited for the fifth time since 2019. Now, Biden uh, plans to hold a meeting with uh, President uh, Zelensky. Uh, with uh, This is a meeting, uh, this is in order to sign a bilateral security agreement when it comes to Ukraine and uh, making clear the, their support as far as Ukraine is concerned. That is what the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan had to say. Of course, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, will also be meeting uh, Joe Biden on the sidelines is what is expected uh, as far as the G7 summit is concerned. Uh, to get more details, we have my colleague Vishu Som who's getting us a ground report. I come to you from Bari in the southeast of Italy. In a couple of hours from now, the Prime Minister will be travelling to about 50, 60 kilometers away from where I am in the Apulia region. He's over here as a special invitee for the G7 talks. The G7 grouping is one of the most important groupings anywhere in the world. It's composed of the foremost powers. But over a period of time, the nature of the economic existence of India has changed drastically. For example, India now has a larger economy than Canada, the host Rome, and also France. And therefore, given the role of India as being a leader in the global south, India has been called time and time again to be a part of the G7. It's important this time around because it's the first time that the Prime Minister is visiting a country after being sworn in recently for his third consecutive time. What is he going to be talking about? Well, there are several key issues the Indo-Pacific region, and that's an area that concerns India greatly. We always champion Indo-Pacific security and safety. Concerns over Africa, climate change, that's an issue which is at the center of everybody's heart. There's the entire issue of environment, migration, migration patterns, illegal migration, and artificial intelligence. So those are themes that the G7 is looking at this time around. But very significantly, this meeting of the G7 comes just a couple of days prior to a world summit calling for peace in Ukraine. And over here, Ukraine will be a very important topic as well. What about India and our position and our role as far as bringing peace to Ukraine, ending the crisis over there? Well, India has fantastic relations with Russia. We've got great equations with Ukraine as well. But whether the Prime Minister is called upon for his advice on how to tackle the situation over here in G7, because the G7 will also likely be talking about the Ukraine crisis, that we do not know. But it's going to be a relatively short visit. The Prime Minister flies back uh, on the 14th. He returns to New Delhi. And in a sense, this visit of the Prime Minister, which is very important in terms of profile, has of course been entirely overshadowed by the immense tragedy where dozens of Indians have lost their lives in Kuwait. But we'll be tracking this move very, very closely in case you were wondering why I am quite far away from where the G7 summit is being held. It's because that entire area with so many world leaders coming in has been declared as an absolute red zone. So the media access is actually 60 kilometers, think about it, from where it's all going to be taking place. That said, we will be bringing you footage of the Prime Minister as he arrives and in his important meetings. There are a couple of important meetings that we need to also think about. Will there, for example, be a meeting between the Prime Minister and his Canadian counterpart? That would be very important since it comes at a time when relations between India and Canada have been fraught. One of the issues which has been a big dividing factor in terms of those relations is the entire issue of Khalistani supporters being allowed to go about their business in Canada. In fact, in Brindisi, which is uh, another city not too far from where I am now, there was um, a statue of Gandhiji which was being constructed, which was actually defaced quite recently in the last couple of days. Um, and there were Khalistani slogans which were put on. That's been cleaned up now. But again, the international threat of Khalistan, the fact that there are sympathizers all across Europe and in Italy as well, does remain a concern for India. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.